Let's look at how students interact with the lesson. Here's a collaborative activity. If I click Start before students have signed in to my class, the lesson player automatically opens my class list and sign-in information. Students join the class by navigating to hellosmart.com on their devices and entering the class code. We'll add a student screen beside mine so you can see how my interactions affect the class. As soon as students log in, they show up here on my class list. There's one, and it looks like a few more students are joining. Now that my students have joined, I can divide them into teams and start the quiz so they can begin to play. If I turn the page, the activity ends automatically. Students are returned to the lesson, which they can explore independently. The rank order activity that I have open doesn't have to be played collaboratively. Anyone could start it without having to wait for others to join. I might start demonstrating the activity while my student is on another page. Or while I'm playing a video on how snow forms, my student might skip ahead to this activity and try to put the steps for snow formation in order. So there's some flexibility here for students to explore the lesson at their own pace. We've added this flexibility to help students own the learning experience. But you still have the ability to keep them on track with tasks. Remember, if you start a collaborative activity, whether it's a game, a brainstorming session, or an assessment, students are pulled in automatically. So now you know how the teacher and student lesson players interact. When you're done presenting a lesson, click the library icon to return to the lesson library. Closing the lesson moves your students back into the class lobby.